In this project, I'm going to show you how to use motorized Nerf guns and water guns to make an automated gun turret that you can use to shoot your friends. So the first thing that you need is a motorized toy gun. It needs to be one that fires continuously when you hold down the trigger. I decided to use the Cyclone Water Blaster because it has a built-in servo motor that can turn the gun from side to side. This lets you hit a wider area. Start by opening up the housing so that you can access the buttons. Solder an extension wire onto the terminals of each switch. This will let you control the gun with an external circuit. To do this, I used an Arduino microcontroller and a set of relays. The relays are connected in parallel with the switches on the gun. That way, whenever the relay is turned on, the gun reacts as if the button had been pressed. Because the relays only require 20 milliamps to operate, I was able to power them directly from the digital pins of the Arduino. First, I prototyped the relay circuit on a breadboard and connected it to the Arduino and the gun. Then, I connected an infrared motion sensor to the Arduino. This sensor will activate the system whenever someone walks by. Lastly, upload some code to your Arduino and you're ready to test it. Once everything was working properly, I soldered the relay circuit onto a piece of perf board. Now you need to put all the parts inside a project enclosure. To mount the motion sensor, I cut a large hole in one side of the enclosure. Then, I attach the motion sensor to the inside with hot glue. The narrower the hole is, the more focused the sensor will be. The last thing that you need to do is set up the gun on a platform. I just attached mine to a small wooden board with a pair of long machine screws. And your motion activated gun turret is now complete. Set it up in a hall or a doorway and wait for someone to walk by. When they do, your gun turret will automatically fire on. This is a great way to prank your friends. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how to's.